This is a basic club bell move called the rocket. And if you like kettlebell swings, you'll love the rocket. The neat thing about um, the rocket is that it has a hip dominant movement and a knee dominant movement and you move back and forth between the two. They're super tiring, they're super fun, and the weight of the club bells is really uh, interesting. If you have a chance to work with them, um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I'm using the Tac Fit club bells, so they are really slim. Um, these are seven kilograms each, so they're not super light though, so even though they look Maybe a little dinky there, uh, they pack a punch. So um, let me show you how it works. So um, the idea with a rocket is that you have a deadlift type movement where you swing your arms through. So you're sending your hips back and your knees stay pretty much over your, over your ankles. So you swing through this way. And then when you come back through this way, you have the counterbalance with the weight and you're able to sit down into more of a, of a squat. And so um, I'll show you um, with a small range of motion, and then I'll show you how you can make it deeper, and you'll see how it can get really tiring really fast. So these are the club bells. Same idea as with kettlebell movements. So I want to keep the shoulder blades dropped down and back. I'm going to try and keep my wrists nice and straight on the bells, and uh, not do a whole ton with my wrists other than just kind of maintain position. So you start just kind of really slow, just sort of feeling the weight. So I let it bring me forward when the club bells go back, and then I sit back when they go forward. So then getting into it, So that gives you a little bit of an idea. So it's a back and forth movement. You can really sink those hips down into the squat. The heavier the club bells are, the easier it is for you to really sit down deeply. Um, it's sort of gated by the weight and also, of course, by your own mobility. So here's the same movement from the front. You'll see why it's easiest to do these with club bells as opposed to kettlebells because you have such a nice long lever arm. Um, also, club bells. It's a lot easier to bonk yourself in the kneecap. Okay, so here we go from the front. Whew. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of fun movements with club bells going to be posting some more in the coming days. So try this one out if you can.